Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Woodall from Cascade Integrative Medicine, and I'd like to talk to you about viral and immune support for the 2014 flu season. And the reason I'm interested in this topic was because on December 4th, the CDC re released a press release that basically said that this year's flu is going to be H3N2, and that when that flu is most common, which it has been three times in the past 10 years, we see more severe illness, people feel just yuckier in general, more hospitalizations and more deaths. So that's not that good. And the virus has mutated. It has drifted, as they like to say in virology, and that means that people are less protected. So what can you do? Well, stay home if you're sick. Make sure you're keeping good hygiene practices, trying to get enough sleep, wash your hands, eat a high quality, nutrient dense diet, and limiting refined carbohydrates because increased blood sugar will suppress the immune system. The CDC is still recommending getting the flu vaccine because in previous years, even when the virus drifted, there was still 30 to 40% protection. So not 100%, but still some. And then I'd like to bring the idea of using herbs, things that are in our environment that already have um, potent medicine within them. And this isn't some 1960s hippie thing that I'm talking about here. This is 2014, and there are thousands of studies that show herbs are powerful and can support the immune system and help against viruses. So here's a study, and if you'd like to go further in depth with the same presentation, look back at the other video that I've posted. It's not me talking, um, you don't see my face, it's just about the research. So this was a study looking at an herbal formula against two common um, antiviral herbs, one of them being Tamiflu, and if you haven't noticed, Tamiflu ads are all over the TV uh, the past month and the reason is is that the makers of Tamiflu know that it's flu season they know about the CDC press release so they know that their product might have an opportunity to make a lot of money well the thing is is that when they looked at Tamiflu Xanamivir and herbs there wasn't any difference in fever duration or how long you um, you had symptoms so herbs offer a lot of protection um, for the immune system and viral support when we do get sick. Uh, this is a study just talking about echinacea and we use many different parts of that plant and they have really multiple act, um, bioactive compounds against viruses and helping to enhance your immune system which is pretty cool. Specifically against H3N2 we, should, we saw 99% inactivation of H3N2 type 4 in this in vitro study, which is very powerful and potent. And it didn't just stop with H3N2. It, uh, it possessed activity against multiple different viruses. It also can reduce the amount of medication you need. So a lot of time people have stuffy nose, they've got body aches, they're using all these over-the-counter medications to feel normal. And echinacea can actually reduce the amount of other medications people feel like they need to use um, when they are sick and limit the cumulative cold episode days, meaning how long the duration of your, your cold lasted and you felt sick. Most drugs work by neuromidase inhibition, meaning that the virus gets into your cell and it tries to escape, but wait, this drug inhibits the virus leaving the cell so it gets stuck. The immune system comes in, clears out the virus. Herbs can do this and work in other mechanisms, which is why I think we see similar results. We're using similar type um, mechanisms of action, but also other more broad spectrum um, acti activities as well. This is Chinese skull cap and basically showed really nice, these are lung tissues of rats that normally would die and yet no difference really in their lung tissue from healthy versus um, diseased rat tissue uh, when in infected with this type of virus. 
I like elderberry and I used it as one of the main herbs in the formula that I formulated for our patients at Cascade. And it's been shown to relieve symptoms on average four days earlier. Meaning that if you were to get sick for 10 days and not take anything, if you repeated that same process, all the same parameters, your symptoms might only last six days. That's pretty cool. Also, elderberry, it tastes really good because I've made it as a glycerite, and so it's kind of sweet. Um, it tastes really good. This is propolis, which comes from the bees, and I used a different resin in my formula only because propolis is hard to find a really good manufacturer for. Here's the formula that I've created for my patients based off of research for this year's H3N2. Um, all of these herbs have um, really good data looking at either their effects in vitro or in vivo um, for viral support and immune support. Uh, you can see that I use Chinese skullcap, elderberry, licorice, echinacea, balsam, St. John's wort, ginger, and Mua Huang. Basically, at one dropper full three times a day, that's a dollar a day um, for 40 days support. It's a really good um, cost effective strategy, I feel, in addition to all the other lifestyle things that you can do to support your immune system. So, if you have any questions and are interested in the immune viral support formula that I've designed for this year's 2014 flu season. Give us a call, let us know, and know that we are here for you to help you feel better and live the life that you want so that you can achieve your dream. Thanks and Happy New Year.